Hi, I'm Courtney Eckerly here in the Media Center at Marketing Sherpa 2017, and with me is Andrea Shaken, who is the former Director of Customer Experience and Engagement for Mr. Lube Canada. Welcome. Thank you very much, Courtney. It's great to be here. So you're, um, you're leading a session today. Tell me a little bit, for the campaign you're going to be speaking about, what was the challenge you were facing that led you into that? The biggest challenge that Mr. Lube had was with data. We had so much data. It was unbelievable. Transactional information going back 40 years. But we couldn't use it for customer information. We didn't actually know what people were doing. Our unique identifier was the license plate, not the person. So we had no clue how to actually interpret that and give people information that they needed when they needed it. It was very challenging and we had to find a way to interpret the customer information without changing too many of our systems for our financial uh, reporting purposes. There was a lot of work that had to be done. So what, what were the steps that you took to kind of clear out the, the data that was clutter and figure out what was important to you? The first thing I had to do was find a partner who could help us. <laughs> we tried a number of different things, including tried to build something in-house, and it was exceptionally tough. We really didn't have all that we needed in terms of our technology or our systems to support that. So once I found a partner who was able to understand our needs uh, and understood that we weren't really in a position to do everything at once, um, their theory was that you wouldn't boil the ocean, so that's why I sort of fell in love with that approach. We decided that we would actually build an existing system on top of the data that we had. So something that could hold all the information, like a repository, like a better filing cabinet, and sort the information that we needed within that instead of changing our, our previous system. It worked much better, I think, and everyone was able to understand what, what we were trying to do. People were very afraid of change, and they thought that if we built something new, we would break the old thing. So this helped us a lot. So what advice, that's a very common problem among marketers data is a big buzzword, they have a lot of it, but how do they figure out what to use and what's useful? What advice would you have based on your experience? The thing that I did was I actually put myself in the customer's shoes. I'm actually a customer of Mr. Lube, and so I understood that I wanted to be communicated with in certain ways. That meant I had a bit of a view into what kinds of information were important. Some of the transactional information isn't that useful when you're communicating with a customer. And so what I was able to do was think about what I would need, pick out some of the really important data, knowing that we could always go back and pull out other things that we needed. So we didn't start huge, we started on a manageable scale and worked from there. And I think that made it a lot more manageable. And from, from that experience, what, what are some results that you've seen and um, how are you working through it still and developing it for the future? Well, early results, it just started actually. It's very recent that they started sending emails based on this new campaign um, procedure, but what we found is there's been a huge increase in open rates and click-through rates, almost 200% increase in open rates, and double-digit click-through rates. Obviously, it's more engaging because what's being sent to the customer is more relevant based on their real behavior. So I'm really impressed with those results. Also, it's a lot cleaner. They've been able to reduce the bounce rate by also about 20%. It's just a result of being able to see into the data a little bit better. And so it makes it far easier to really send a true communication to a true customer. But ongoing, now that they've started, what the hope is is that we'll build additional customer journeys on top. So we've built one for certain types of auto maintenance services. As Mr. Lube adds new services, they can add new journeys. So it'll be something that they can scale over time. And I think that's something that I would really advise to anyone. You don't have to do it all at once in every case. Sometimes you need to start small and work up from there. It seems to be a really nice approach and has made everyone a little more comfortable with the change. And I think it's just so telling of, of how much work you have to put in on the front end of this that you've done so much work on it, you're talking about it at Marketing Sherpa Center or Summit and it's just now starting to become customer facing. Absolutely, it took a very long time. It took a long time to find the right partner and to find the right approach to sift through all the data that took hours and hours to build all the requirements and, and to actually be able to get the program off the ground. But I feel that the expectation was set that it was an ongoing process. It wasn't going to be built in a day. And I think that going in knowing that made it okay. We weren't that stressed out about the amount of time that it would take and when we found a couple of glitches, 
and had to fix some of the previous work we'd done, we were prepared for that. And I think that made it a lot easier. And I've already started to receive, as a customer, the emails from the new system. And I have to say, they look much better than the ones that I had sent before. So I'm really pleased. So as a, a Mr. Loom Canada customer, what, what does this campaign look like from that perspective? It's really interesting, it's quite subtle, but it is, it is a really big difference. What you receive now as a customer is relevant communication. So you don't just get a reminder after 90 days, you get a reminder based on your actual cadence of visits. You don't get an email talking about a service that you've just had. You might get one talking about something you haven't tried yet. And there's a lot more variability and relevance in the communications, not to mention the fact they look much nicer than they used to. They were very text-based and they're much more modern, which is a huge bonus that we got. In addition to having the data-driven uh, customer communication, we actually did a creative upgrade at the same time, so it's really nice to see. You mentioned um, some glitches that you ran into along the way as you were working this out. Do you have any specific you'd like to share? Well, we were dealing with a very old system that was really built to handle point of sale transactions and financials. So there were things underneath that we didn't even know were there. A few fields that couldn't be exported, a few things that were hard coded that we didn't realize were hard coded things we thought we could adjust but we had to live with. But I think that's just part of the process. I've never worked on a project where you didn't run into at least one of those glitches. It was just a matter of finding out how to deal with it. And the team did a really great job of kind of supporting all of those changes as they were happening and finding some creative solutions. So in your presentation today, what is something that you hope that everyone who attends will, will walk out of there having? Well, what I'm hoping to do is actually share the process a bit because a lot of times you come to an event like a conference and people tell you they did this great job but they don't tell you how and they don't share with you that it was tough to do and you walk away thinking, why can't I do that? But the fact is you have to be honest about all the work that it takes and I want people to walk away thinking, you know, if I can do it, I'm not terribly technical, they can do it too if their company is in a similar situation. The other thing that I really want to impress upon people here at Marketing Sherpa is that you'll, you'll see a lot of times companies will say, well, if we're not a frequent type of company, you know, restaurant is frequent, car maintenance isn't, we don't need to do this. And I think that's not true. I think every retailer or service provider can really benefit from making changes to their email structure and using their data better. Fantastic. Thank you so much for taking the time to sit down with me. Thank you. It's been great to talk to you, Courtney. Thanks. And if you would like to see more content, please go to marketingsherpa.com.